with a really small device which is for anyone that has more than one multimedia device below our TV. So if you have an Xbox, a PlayStation, a DVD player, a set-top box, an Android TV box, an Apple TV or anything else, this is for you because we will be able to connect up to three different devices on the HDMI inputs and then one single output to our TV which is awesome and then all we need to do is to press this button right over here to cycle through or we can select the source by using this remote while we are sitting on a couch. It does support up to 8K on any of the devices that we are transmitting and also on the output up to 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 165Hz which is perfect for gaming but we can also achieve 1080 at 240 Earth, with one video output for this display and then we have three HDMI inputs one from this Mac one from a Windows computer and one from a Android set-top box and we can control it via this single button here or we can control via the remote control it's easy as this we can connect three sources to one single display which is a common setup on any of our living rooms so we have several devices if I press here for example, it will switch from three to one. It will take a while and this will depend on the TV or the monitor that we have. Some of them will be faster. At this moment, we have the MacBook using as an external display. We can use both ways. I can use this display to mirror that one that I've got right over there, or I can use it to extend and then work on my computer like this. And if I press the select button once again, then it will switch to the source number two, which in my particular case, in this example is the Windows 11 computer right over here actually a mini computer and as we can see I can control it can just do any work if I need to but of course I could connect here a PS5 an Xbox a DVD player any other media device that I want now if I press once again to number three it will cycle to my Android TV box which is the one that I've got TV service now besides being able to control over there if we are on a couch then we can use the remote control included which is just I can press number one or I can press um, directly number three let's just wait for it to capture number one which is right over here but if I want to go to number three instead of pressing twice I just need to select number three and there it goes it goes directly by the way this device this HDMI switch is so small and it doesn't require any power so it will allow me to have a clean setup which is something that I don't have right over here because I do want to show you the computers and the cables and the connections but in a real life situation this will be hidden and I can just place in my devices connected via HDMI 